Good evening everyone, welcome back to my gnome only Iron Man. Last episode, I completed a series of quests that I'll need to finish my account's end goal, Monkey Madness 2, and made my first coins so that I could buy some basic tools and begin my training in preparation for the quests to come. In order to take on the bosses I'll have to defeat, I need money, and I'll need more of it than I can get by just picking flax. Fletching has always been a great method for starting cash, so that's the route that I'll be taking. Alright, we're 1 XP away, but we're just about to get the final farming level that I think I'll get today. That'll be 9 farming. Bam, there it is, 9 farming. That's the first herb I can grow, but unfortunately, I don't even have a herb patch, so that's no use to me whatsoever. Okay, so now I've got about 200 logs. We're going to start fletching these and see what level we get. I'm hoping I get level 10 so I can start making longbows, but we'll see what happens. Alright, finally 20 fletching. Now I can finally make some oak short bows. There's 25 fletching for the oak longbow. There's 27 fletching. Now I'm able to make an oak shield. And the oak shield I do believe is the best shield I'll be able to make at the moment. It doesn't have very good stats because of course I can't add any dragon hide or anything to it. Oh, can't even wear it right now. But it should give me a few basic stats which are better than nothing. And here we have 15 farming. That's awesome because that's the first thing I'll be able to plant now, oak trees. As you can see here, my fletching level isn't looking too bad now, almost 28. This is all the stuff that I've managed to get from that level, which is quite a nice amount. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get for it, but I'm going to take it to the, to the general store and see just how much I'm going to get because I think it's not going to be too bad. Look at that, that's 10k if we're lucky. Right, we made it, so let's see what we're going to get for all of our stuff. Ooh, that's not too bad. Alright, let's sell one one of each and we'll check how much that goes down. Everything is already going down quite a lot. Ooh, yeah, that's quite a bit. And that goes from 18 to... 11 and from 32 to 20. I might sell three per world and see what we get. Look at that, 13k. That is way more than I expected to get. I don't even know where I'm going to spend it all. But I do know that there's a lot of arrows that I need to buy. Because I need a high range level to take on the bosses. So that is where most of the GP I think is going to go. We'll go on arrows. And these just are unbelievably cheap. Look at that. May as well buy the whole lot. That right. Alright, let's see how much money we spend, how many arrows we can get with this GP. I was finally ready for combat. Training on gnomes was my only real choice until I had a higher range level, training agility whilst my hit points healed, but my first goal was to take on the giant rats to get some free cooking XP on the side. Both zombies and hill giants are found in the maze, and have very important drops for this account, so I wanted to kill them as soon as possible. Zombies are a good source of herbs and also drop the Eye of Newt, meaning I can make attack potions for herblore XP, and both drop very important runes that I can't get from anywhere else yet including Mind, Chaos, and Cosmic. Two agility, look at that, the first level already. Oh yes, I would certainly love to come and help you with some peasants mate. It's not a genie, but we'll take it. Just 
Jeez, you get all the random event music now? Oh yeah, look at that. I got the leader hosen. I'm rocking that, you can believe it. And that's three agility. Four agility. Five agility. Six agility. Seven agility. And that's eight agility. We'll stop there because my health is already back to full, so I'm going to go back to training ranged. There's got to be some cheap food I can buy here. How much is all this stuff? Ooh. Oh, why is it all so expensive? What is that? The scrunch? Let's see how much the biscuits heal. How much does this heal? Oh, that's good. Actually, that's good. Six for that much GP, and it might be more too. We'll take all of them. Now, before we go any further, I want to explain how important this particular random event I got was. When I originally planned the account, I set in my goals that I would require level 60 Hunter to get a Monkey Grigri and fully unlock Apatol. This is because the only source of gold bars I would have had available to me was the Eclectic Impling, which requires level 60 Hunter to catch barehanded, and the Monkey's Beak Amulet requires a gold bar to make, which you have to make before the Grigri. But to even train Hunter, I need Genies and Surprise Exams to lamp up to level 3 so that I can track the common Kebit and finally get some real XP, and I haven't had a single one of either of those events yet. There would have been another way, but it would have been excruciatingly difficult. I would have been required to smelt bars until 40 smithing by using the ancient flame wall under Apatol Temple, and I have no anvil to get XP out of those bars. I had researched everywhere. I was resigned to the fact that access to Apatol may have been weeks, if not months away, locked behind random event RNG and a painful hunter grind. But I'd forgotten something. I'm not sure, but I think I can get a gold bar from this random event. No way. No way, no way, no way. Look at that. Holy shit. Do you know what that means? I don't need to get 60 Hunter if I want to do Monkey Madness anymore. I can just use this bar right here. And, and make the monkeys per game. Oh my god, I did not take this into account when I was planning. Holy moly. This changes everything. This literally changes everything. That useless random event that you always dismiss because you're only going to get 10 GP. Holy crap. And I got it on the first try. I didn't even know if you could get it. This is, this is, this is unbelievable. Now, back to the range levels. And there we are, that's level 10 ranged. Now that the gnomes fear me as a mighty archer, it's time to take my skills to the maze and take on the rats. Not only did I just find a safe spot, but I just got level 11 ranged. Oh, 
Ooh, there's level 16 farming. What the heck are those doing there? Who drops triangle sandwiches in the maze? No way, look at that, an easy clue scroll. I doubt I'm ever going to be able to do one of these, but let's see what we got. White Knight's Castle. Well, that's the first clue scroll I ever got, and the first clue scroll I ever have to drop. I'm a poet and didn't know it. If we can get another gold bar, then that's Watchtower quest sorted as well. Let's see what happens. Nope, but we do get some GP. I'll take it. Also, I'm killing goblins and hoping of getting a red cape, because I do believe they drop one, and that should be the only thing I can wear in the cape slot, I think indefinitely. So let's hope I get one soon. Wow, look at that, we actually got it. I didn't actually know they dropped it. How cool is that? Oh man, this is awesome. Red cape. Besides all the levels I got, the monsters in the maze gave me some great items, including my first gear upgrades. It looks like I'll be killing a lot more zombies in the future, as they're fast XP and are a great source of herbs, arrows, runes, and fishing bait, which I'll eventually be able to use once Evil Bob visits me enough times. Unfortunately though, this is as far as I got. I wasn't able to take on the Warlord this week, but as my range level steadily creeps up, I don't think we're far away now. If it's not next episode, then I can guarantee it'll be the one after that. I want to say a special thank you to everyone who either liked the last video, commented on the last video, or subscribed to me. Almost 30 of you subscribed. That's phenomenal to me, and more support than I even dreamed of getting. If you think about it, that's like an entire classroom liking my content enough to come back, which might be the most validation I've ever had. Seriously, thank you. If you're still here, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode.